Early hours in the morning for me, UFC fight night, Aaron Blanchfield versus Jessica Andrade uh, happened. Um, i got to be honest with you guys, because of work and stuff like that, this is why I'm pulling this out so late. Um, I didn't watch any of the fights. Uh, I had to go to bed early, so... <clears throat> I'm just going to give a quick summary of the fights that were talked about. And yeah, just give quick thoughts and then go from there. So obviously, William Knight had a nightmare of a fight. Um, I did have a positive record, though. I don't know who... I, I don't know what my record was exactly. But William Knight had a, a, a nightmare of a of a, of a match uh, fight. Uh, apparently, he was literally just frozen. He was literally worse than Tyron Woodley. Literally did nothing the entire fight. Um, people just clowning him left, right, and center, calling it the worst performance in uh, US history. So, uh, yeah, um, interesting, but uh, yeah, <laughs> um, I did pick him to win, unfortunately. And uh, so, yeah, sorry if you guys took that bet off of me, but yeah, um, what else? Um, I did pick Jim Miller to beat Alexander Hernandez, but apparently, Hernandez on short notice on a short on, on no camp beats Jim Miller. Um, interesting. Very interesting. But yeah, he gets the job done. Um I don't like a lot of people saying that I, he should have gone to Miller, but they're not mad that he went to Hernandez is strange, so it's not like a robbery or anything, but um they said that they'll happily give it to Hernandez, so I'm fine with Hernandez getting there if that's the case. Um Well, from the people who actually know the score fight that I've heard this from. So I got my sources. But um so Okay, I'm fine with that, but I don't know where Hernandez goes from here, to be honest with you. But, uh, yeah, and um, uh, what else is there to talk about? Um, well, the main thing to talk about is Erin Blanchfield versus Jessica Andrade. Now, I picked Jessica Andrade, um, but Erin Blanchfield gets it done and proves why she is a huge contender in the flyweight division. She, as of right now, Oh, she's got more than a good chance against Valentina Shevchenko right now. Obviously, what was exposed with Valentina Shevchenko was her wrestling, her grappling. Sorry that the chair is squeaky as fuck. I can't do anything about that. But yeah, um, I'll try and sit on the edge of it so it's not too bad. I haven't got my stand today, but uh, it's all good for my camera. But yeah, it's all good. Um, but uh, yeah, um, so obviously Valentina's grappling got, um, got exposed against Talia Santos. Um, Aaron Blanchfield showed amazing grappling, man. Amazing grappling, and against a uh, and against a woman like Jessica Andrade, who's basically a, a dude, uh, going in there swinging like a man and basically just connecting on most people whenever she wants. So, um, she took care of Jessica Andrade as a second round submission. So, ah, either get her to fight one more, or wait until whoever wins out the Valentina Shevchenko and Alexa Grasso, which I think will be Shevchenko. Because Grass was not really going to grapple, so if Shevchenko gets that done, it should be her versus Aaron Blanchfield. If Blanchfield wins a fight in the meantime, or just gets that fight afterwards, I'm leaning towards Blanchfield, man. She apparently she looked really good uh, from the highlights I seen. She looked very good. She looked very composed. Obviously, her striking needs a bit of touch up even more, but she's improved it a lot. She looks a lot better. And I gotta be honest with you guys, like it's one of those things where she proved that why she's a contender, and now she's top three in the flyweight division. And I know it's women's MMA and they're all fucking trash, but still, this is a big step for Erin Blanchfield because now she's proven she can hang with these women, and now she's proven that she can beat them. She's proven that she she can get to the title. So now she's gonna be she's automatically jumped to number three because she was number ten. So because she's jumped to number three. She she is definitely in line for a title shot because Jessica Andrade was looking at a title shot if she wins this fight. So, yeah, I, I know she took her on short notice, man. But still, beating Jessica Andrade is beating Jessica Andrade. So, um, I think Aaron Blanchfield can get it done. I really do. So, uh, yeah, um, that's a quick recap for you guys. Um, obviously I didn't watch the fights, but I did have a positive record. Can't remember the exact record, but yeah, guys. Um, hopefully I can bring out some more content for you guys. It's been about two or three days. I need to get them pumping out. Uh, we'll just see what we can get from it. So anyway, guys, I know this is a low quality video, but if you just wanted my thoughts, to, you know it is. So if you're new, please like and subscribe. If you're new, I promise I make much better videos than this. You could just run up my other videos. I just uh, I didn't have time to watch the videos. Uh, so uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you all. Please like, subscribe, comment, share all that good stuff. Um, this is Keep It Real MMA, as you could tell. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.
Peace.